Let's start off by creating a new ActionScript 3.0 project. And in this movie, we'll take a look at the Actions panel. To access the Actions panel, simply right click on the first frame of your timeline and hit Actions. Or you could do this by going to Window, Actions. Another way you could do this is by clicking the keyboard shortcut, which is F9 on a PC or Option F9 on a Mac. This is basically where we'll be placing all of our code. Now you could keep this as a free-floating panel as it is right now, or simply dock it in here so that it is within reach whenever you need it. Simply click on it, type your code, click this little arrow at the top, and it goes away. In previous versions of ActionScript, we were able to place code directly on objects placed on our stage. This is no longer available in ActionScript 3.0. In this version of ActionScript, we can only place code on keyframes. To add a keyframe, simply click on a frame and hit F6. This is now a keyframe. A good practice, though, is to have a separate layer for our actions. So create a new layer, we'll call Actions. And in this layer now, I can place my code. Just so you know, this is not the only place I can place actions on. I can simply go to File, New, and then create an action script file. And this file can only contain action script. Notice I have no access to the timeline or library. And after I'm done typing my code, I can simply go to my project and import that action script file into my project. We'll get into importing action script files in a later movie. One more thing I want to point out here is the Code Snippets panel. To access the Code Snippets panel, you can go to Window, Code Snippets. Now, what the Code Snippets panel is, is basically it has some presets of some pre-typed code. Something that you would use a lot, so you don't have to type it every time you need it. Let's take a look at a quick example of one of these codes. I'll just simply dock it in here under my Actions panel, and I'll create a simple shape, convert it to symbol, and give it an instance name, my circle. And if I click on it, go to the code snippets panel, and under animation, I have move with keyboard arrows. Double click on that, and here we can see that some code has been typed in my actions layer. Now, even if none of this makes sense to you right now, don't worry, we'll be getting into much more complex code than that. But just for now, you should know that this code allows me to move the circle with the keyboard arrows. And to test the movie, I can simply go to Control, Test. Fair enough, I can press my keyboard arrows and see that the ball is moving. I can even make my own custom presets. If I go to the Code Snippets panel, click Settings, create new code snippet. I can give it a title, a description, and here I can type the actual code that this code snippet contains. Trace hello world. And again, this doesn't have to mean anything to you right now. I'll talk about trace statements in the next movie. Click OK, and now I have my custom code snippet. I can click the circle, go to the code snippets panel, and click on the trace code snippet that I just made. Go to Control, Test Movie. By the way, the shortcut for testing your movie is Control Enter. There we have it, Hello World. So, just a quick reminder of what we learned in this lesson. We can apply ActionScript to keyframes in ActionScript 3.0. To create a keyframe, simply select a frame and press F6. It's best to have a separate layer for our actions. And we've learned about the Code Snippets panel and how to create our own custom code snippets.